What's up, family members? My name is Dr. Ken Stevens, aka Mr. We Take Another Shot. Today, I'm posting the first video since 2019, and I'm actually very, very sorry for keeping you guys waiting. And that's why I came out with two free lots for everybody following this platform. So, don't move. Stay with me. Just go down there, hit the subscribe button as I walk you through on how to use these two free lots in DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. So, let's take another shot. Okay, so we're here with DaVinci Resolve 16. So like I said, I'm giving out two free lots to everybody. So um, I will just run ahead and do a quick color grading using these lots. These lots are very, very quick lots. I created them with my Wave Tangent 2 Control Surface. So these are very, very quick lots. You just have to carry them and drop and you're ready to go. But I'm gonna show you how to do these on DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. So in DaVinci Resolve, let's start with these two clips, um, Cool Kid and Brian Frico. So this is a video of Cookie we shot some weeks back and this is a video of Brian Frico too. It's gonna be out very soon. So I will just use three notes, just three notes to do the color grading of these images so you can understand how quick these lots are. Okay, so let's start with Cool Kid. First of all, we do real quick color color correction with the first note. We just create three notes. One, two, three. Okay, this is actually this one. Okay, one, two, three. We have three notes. So with the first one, we start with very, very quick color correction, which is going to be the contrast, exposure, saturation, white balance, and all that. So we do that looking at our uh, scope or period down here. So let's go. Let's go ahead. Uh, increase the contrast like so. Okay, expand the image. Then try to reduce the pivot. So we have some more space to okay okay so this is uh so at least we've done something with the contrast uh, you can take down the the lift so it reaches this this last point it shouldn't touch zero so try to bring down the shadows to this point here anyway it all depends on the image you're working on now i'll make sure my shadows doesn't touch this zero so i'll just bring it down a little and i'm okay i'll take up my gamma a little and my gain up i don't want my highlights on my game to pass this point if i had a particular object in my image that was automatically blown out when i was shooting this this video for example uh, let's take it out you see there's nothing nothing is blown out here look at the scope nothing is blown out so i don't want to take up my gain right up to like this because it's already blown out so i'll make sure my gain is below nine below eight nine six like so yes then i'll increase my saturation up to let's say 70 percent i always like to use my control surface panel because it's, it's always very easy for me to to work with using the mouse is kind of complicated but then i'll do that because of you so uh, so this is i uh, increased my saturation to 70 percent um you can take a close look at how it looks before and after you see we already have a very great change uh, let's work on white balance the way i like to work with white balance is just using this pen tool and clicking on anything which is white on the image and we have a white balance so this is before and after we can see that okay so we're done so let's move over to color grading for the next note um color grading for the next note we'll just uh add one of those lots the free lots it's the king lot which is free so just drop let's say let's let's drop the anita lot and right away we have these two color you can see that let's take away the the lot and see see right away we're ready to go like i said it's a very quick lot so so let's die it down a little um i'll take it to let's say 70 percent mm, yes 70 percent is okay for me so let's see 70 percent is okay then for the next note i'll just do quick uh adjustment with with colors so i just want to make sure it, it looks cute for me i'll just uh, let's say i'll play with the game the colors of the game and let me put it to let's say blue i want some more blue like so okay yes and for the lift i want some more orange so like so more yellow like so take a look on how i do this 
okay nice you can see that for yourself you can see the difference uh, before this is before the stop and after you see and this is before and after so you can see how quick that see it so I mean we're done with it so I mean this is just the test of what you can do with the lot so you can go ahead and play around with the lots try to be creative with whatever we want to do it but I mean this is a good start for you to uh, get some good color grading let's move on to the next clip so with this clip uh, this is a slow motion so with this clip we'll do the same thing create three notes one two three to the first one the same thing color correction so we've done the color correction the next note we're gonna we're gonna apply the lot to it uh, let's say uh, Anita a lot let's drop the Anita on it you can see right away we have a very very good color grading already so you can see before and after one this is before and this is after you can see that for yourself so we just go ahead and die down the the lot a little bit uh, let's take it to let's say 50 percent no 50 is too low 70 percent is good for me 70 percent is good for me yeah i don't know about you and for the next note you just go ahead and do some color changes so let's say i'm not satisfied with the way the white looks like i want it to be a little bit more blue i could add some more blue yeah very little very much okay like so and then um i'm okay with my leaves gamma and that's it so that's anita lot this is the anita lot during the day with cool kids clip and this is the anita lot at night with brand freakers clip okay so let's apply the tompier lots so go to our next note after the color correction that we did already apply the tompier lots click on it you can see we have an effect already so this is before and after we go right away and dial it down to let's say 70 percent I think 70% is good. I just want to make sure the, the, the look looks a little bit warm. So add in some more warm, like so, on the highlights. Then on the shadows, I add in some, some orange, like so. This is before, sorry, before and after, before and after. I mean, this is a good start. You can just go ahead and play along. So let's move on to the next clip. Uh, we already did color correction as usual. Just go ahead and apply the the the, the, the lot, uh, tompier lot. Apply the ready to dial it down to let's say 50 percent. It all depends on what you want. 50 percent, I like it. I will just come over to the third note and just play around with it. I want it more cool. Um, let me keep it. I like I like the way the highlights look. So I'll just try to add some some lifts or shadows add some orange to it like so so you can see for yourself this is my before and after before and after with the tompier lot okay so let's go to premiere pro so here is premiere pro cc 2017 i will do the same thing we did in davinci resolve but here in premiere pro is kind of different but then we're going to be very very quick like i said these are very quick lots so let's go ahead let's start with the anita lot we we'll go to our uh, luminary panel we do the quick color correction uh just follow with me contrast highlights exposure take it down i always like to work with scopes so scopes are very very important like i said so we'll try to use scopes okay so i want to ensure that my dax doesn't reach the zero point which is not good then um working with the saturation take it up like so uh, more contrast uh shadows down highlights up and i also don't want to make sure i pass this point looking at my image right here i can see that the white balance is, is kind of off you can take a look at the parade here it shows that there's more blue look at the white balance up here there's more blue to this image than the rest of the colors i want to balance it I want to make sure that the colors are evenly balanced so let's go and take down some blue oh uh, look at it okay so i think we're getting some where you can see the two colors are almost balanced let's try to take you up some some um, green so that it balance well okay so i think we're 
properly balanced so let's move over to color grading so we start with the anita lot go over to browse go to my desktop click on the ken lot uh, free we go to anita lot right away anita lot gives us a very good look so like always you just have to take it down let's say 70 percent sorry that's not 70 percent 70 percent and 70 percent i can go back here and do some quick adjustment to match what i want under the creatives i could do some color changes like what i did in davinci resolve um i want some more blue cast here and and orange gold kind of mid-tone let's say like so mm, let me say this could be good nice so take a look at my before and after take a look at my before this is my after you can see how it works and this is my before this is my before let me just you can see for yourself so let's move ahead to the next clip which is the uh brigham free coast clip um we'll go ahead and do the quick color correction like always okay after done with the color correction we'll go quick and do the uh, color grading which is gonna be uh anita color grading okay we dial it down to let's say 50 percent sorry that's not 50 percent 50 percent okay we still have a good look you can see that for yourself it's a great look so this is before and after the same thing i just go ahead and do a color correction we did a color correction already so go ahead and do the color grading just add the tompier lot tompier good and we're good to go we can see that for yourself the color grading is already looking much better um you can just go ahead and do some light corrections like for example i want to add some saturation here i want it to be on 120 uh sorry that's too much 120 and um let's see i want to walk around with my exposure again um take, take off the shadows again uh, uh why not work with the colors of the highlights and the shadows i want it to be a little bit warm so i'll take it take up the warm things and the shadows take up the shadows to the to the orange like so that's after and this is before so the next image right here we have brain free grow again we're going to do the basic color correction then we we'll move away to the color grading which we're going to use the tompier lot like before so let's go let's go over to the color grading where we're going to add the tompier lot Tompier lot is there we dial it down to let's say 50 percent then we can work with the colors warm kind of colors i want the highlights to be blue and the shadows to be warm and that's it so take a look at my output so this is this is the output um, for before and after So you can see for yourself how quick these lots are so you want to download it just go down to the link in the description box below download the lots go ahead and use it feel free enjoy yourself and enjoy we take another shot lots thank you once again for sticking around to the end i hope you learned something and if you did just go down there hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead share the video so that other people can watch and learn something from this video once again my name is dr kingston aka mr we take another shot and see you next time okay Please.